Welcome back to my channel, I'm Chloe and today I'm sharing all my top tips for being a glam mum with minimal effort. For most people when they become a new mum, the time we're able to spend getting ready is a lot shorter than before having a baby, whether this be less time to do your hair and makeup, picking out outfits, there just seems to be less time to spend faffing and we really need to be savvy with our time. But that doesn't mean we can't still look amazing. So I'm sharing with you today my top tips and tricks on how to still look like the glam stylish person we were before we had a baby. So first on my list is makeup and skincare. So I really like to make sure that I make time to make my skin look and feel its best. So I sit Jessie down in the dressing room next to me and I just get out my makeup bag which has got my skincare in as well and I talk through my skincare with Jessie. Now this might seem a little bit silly at first but he absolutely loves it. So I just tell him exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing that and tell him I'm moisturising my skin, that it's good for hydration. I tell him that I pat it all over to wake the skin up. I literally go through every step as if I'm giving him a mini tutorial and he just really loves it. And then when I do my makeup as well, I put the makeup bag out in front of me and I put him some toys down and more often than not, he will just be happy away playing with his toys. Obviously today when I'm filming this, he didn't want to do that. He was all up in my makeup bag. He just wanted to explore what mum was doing, but he just found it really fascinating. So this is a really good tip for getting your makeup done. Just sit them down next to you, let them have a good play and let them watch. They're really inquisitive and you don't always need to be entertaining your baby. They are really intrigued just by what you're doing in your day-to-day -day life. Next up we have hair. So hair again is one of those things like your makeup, just putting in a couple extra minutes effort is really going to make you look so much more put together. So what I started to do is to plait my hair on a night. So I did wash it last night which is why I'm just giving it a little bit of an extra blow dry because some bits weren't quite dry but I just plaited it last night and you'll see it just gives a lovely wave to the hair, minimal time, minimal effort. Also it's really good for your hair because you're not putting any extra heat damage on it either. I know I had to blow dry it but usually I wouldn't have to do that either. So I just let the braid out, run a brush through it, run some oil through it, and then I just give it a bit of a zhuzh up with some hairspray, and it looks like you have spent a while curling it or crimping it, when really all you did was sleep in plaits and then spend five minutes zhuzhing it up. Now we're going to pick out our outfit for the day and now this is where you can really experiment. You don't just have to stick to leggings and a top all the time. Yes, I know they do serve their purpose. On days where you're just chilling in the house with your baby, it is nice and comfortable. But sometimes just elevating your look with a simple jeans and nice top combo can make you feel the world of God. It can really help you to feel a little bit more put together. If you're heading out on walks or now that the shops are all opening, if you're heading out to the shops, like any of my other tips I am sharing today, it just makes you look a little bit more put together and I don't know about you but for me when I'm wearing a nice outfit I feel a lot better too real life mum life right here got Jessie's toys in the background and a heck load of washing too Now we've got our outfit sorted, we're on to accessorising. So jewellery is another thing, so simple but it can really make you look a lot more put together. I like to put on my simple necklace and bracelet combo and every single day I keep the same earrings in also. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing this, you're probably not going to want to wear a lot because if you're anything like my baby, he will want to pull it off you anyway. So just keep it nice and simple. Thank you. 
my next tip is one that I have been using for absolutely years and that is a good lipstick. So when you are not feeling like putting in a lot of effort, put on a lipstick whether that's a bold one, a neutral one, it definitely makes you look a lot more put together. It's a trick I used to use when I used to be going off to work in clients houses and I didn't leave myself enough time to get fully ready or I just couldn't be bothered getting fully glammed up. I would put a bright bold lipstick on and you would just look a lot more put together but like I say this applies for any kind of lip whether that's neutral or bold. Now we have one of my all time favourites which is sunglasses. I absolutely love sunglasses as an accessory. I just think they look so glamorous. So if it's bright outside I always add on a pair of sunglasses. And then my final tip for you all today is to wear hats. I am a big hat wearer. You either love hats or you don't, but I really do recommend trying some out, seeing what works for your face shape and your head shape. I just think they can really glam up an outfit. Like I say, these are simple tips to make you look more glam and more put together with minimal effort. And a hat is definitely going to do that. Imagine being on a walk with a hat and some sunglasses on. You're definitely gonna look like you know what you're doing and you've got it all together. So find out what works for you, whether that's a trilby hat, whether that's a beanie hat, just have a play around or like me have a couple of styles for every different outfit and that is all of my tips for you today i hope you have enjoyed them please give the video a big thumbs up if you did let me know in the comments down below also your top tips for making it look like you've got it all together for making you look like a more glamorous mum in minimal time stick around for some more and i'll see you all in the next video bye